In a world grappling with the ever-increasing toll of climate change, the UN's World Meteorological Organization has set off another alarm bell. This time, it's about the shocking deterioration of air quality supercharged by rampant wildfires and swirling desert dust. On Wednesday, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued a stern warning, saying our planet isn't just warming, it's boiling. We're in the midst of a climate collapse. The comments come on the backdrop of a searing summer that has been labeled as the hottest ever recorded by the European Union and the WMO. But this is not just another warning and it's not about breaking temperature records. The WMO's 2023 Air Quality and Climate Bulletin reveals that skyrocketing temperatures fan the flames of dangerous pollution. The organization's chief said rising heat isn't just uncomfortable, it's a health hazard. It sets off a domino effect that impacts everything from our health to agriculture, ecosystems, and day-to-day -day life. An example of that is urban heat islands. Dense buildings and infrastructures in cities trap heat, intensifying temperatures by up to 9 degrees Celsius, especially at night. That translates into dangerous heat stress for millions. But there is a glimmer of hope. A study in Sao Paulo shows that the answer could be as simple as more green spaces, nature's own climate solution. As we mark the International Day of Clean Air, the call for unified action rings louder than ever. It's not just an environmental issue. It's a matter of life and breath. So as global leaders are urged to accelerate climate solutions, the question remains, how much hotter does it have to get for us to turn up the heat on action?